शॉट बॉल पे ये शॉट कौन खेलता है यार अगर मैं होता ना बस बॉल को देखता और शानदार खुद को एक्सपर्ट समझते हो तो खेलो प्ले स्पॉट पर लोएस्ट एंट्री फी में इस गेम में फाइनेंशियल रिस्क है और लत लग सकती है कृपया जिम्मेदारी से खेलें और अपनी रिस्क पे खेलें। आई केम गुड आफ्टरनून हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम गुड आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड केम आई केम नॉट टू लॉन्ग अगो यू वर अ विकेट कीपर एंड देन यू वर ओपनिंग इन टी20s एंड बैटिंग इन द मिडिल ऑर्डर एंड द वन इन फैशन सो नाउ ऑन द प्रीवियस सीरीज नाउ रिशब हैज टेकन बैक द ग्लव्स इन द टी20s देन यू ऑफ कोर्स बैटिंग इन द मिडिल ऑर्डर एंड नाउ आल्सो स्कीपर Uh, Virat said that you would like to open the T20s. When so much change around, how does it affect you? Like from being right at the top and having the gloves, and then now Rishabh coming back, taking the gloves in the short shortest format. How does it really affect you, kid? Um, look, when you're part of this Indian team, you always know that uh, the competition is going to be really, really high, and uh, um, you'll never. you can never sit back and feel comfortable and feel like you own uh, your position you'll always be challenged and um, um that's that's the good thing about i mean that's that's how our country is it's not short of talent and uh, there will be players coming in and uh, knocking on the door all the time so as as a player in the team you always try to um, push yourself and keep training harder and keep working on your game and try to get better and better every time and whenever the opportunity comes you try to grab it with both hands and um, yeah and you try to keep doing that um, in every series yeah hi rahul you you have you have gone through a lean patch in the t20 series and then you scored the 60 run not out in the first game so what did you do in the when you were not getting runs and secondly virat has said that sometimes it just takes that one inning for a batsman to change gears is that true in your case also Are you feeling more comfortable now after the first knock in Pune? Yes, I mean, this is this is part of part of the journey, and everybody goes through this. And uh, I didn't I didn't do anything different, or I wasn't um, I wasn't too stressed. I knew. I mean, obviously, as a player, you are disappointed, and um, I've I've been um, sitting on the bench for a while. And the last time I played was three three and a half months ago. So I was really excited and looking forward to doing well in the T Twenty series as well. Uh, and Every 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 cricketer, every player in the team wants to do that, and sometimes it doesn't happen. And you you um, you accept it. And uh, you know, for me, the most important thing was if um, you know when I sat back and I tried to um, look back at things. I, I I asked myself if I'd prepared well, if I was training hard, if there was anything that I did not do in terms of preparation. Um, and when I when I thought about it, I did everything right. So. Um, after that if if i don't score runs it's 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 fine i mean i i can accept that and um again having said that doesn't mean that um you don't you don't feel disappointed you do feel disappointed because you're representing your country or you play, and you're playing at this level you want to keep performing and keep winning games for your team but you also have to accept that some it it's not always going to go your way you need to be patient at times um i've been doing well and scoring runs and contributing in whatever roles and responsibilities that has that have been thrown at me for the last 2 2 and a half years and i've always put the team ahead and i've always performed so uh when when things were going right i didn't question my process or didn't question um my passion or uh, or, or my commitment towards the game or how i was preparing so i didn't want to sit back and and over overthink about uh, uh three or four bad performances and i knew why i you know like i said i it, you need to accept it sometimes and um, i was doing most things right um, whatever was in my control that is prepare, preparing well and being in a in a good mindset and um, yeah even after that if you don't score runs you accept it and move on yeah on the same question uh, the t20is you struggled and then in the odi in the first game itself so you played an excellent knock so do you think sometimes it helps to Uh, have a new series where you can just start with a clean slate. Basically, it gives you like a Monday feeling, let's say. And do you think it's easier to start uh, do well in a new series compared to a low patch that you are going through in the middle of a series? Um, I don't know what um what helps if 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 the format makes a difference or not. Um, you obviously carry um. your confidence or or your bad performances into into your next game so that's that's the hardest thing um for for a for a player to 
to forget what has happened um, a couple of games or a couple of days ago and then try and start fresh. That's it's always challenging. But um, like I said, I think, um, you know, um, the one day format, uh, playing at number five, uh, just gave, you know, I could take a little bit more time than I, I, I you know, I did maybe in T20s, also in T20s. Um, I wanted to give myself time, but like I said, it wasn't it wasn't going my way. So, um, having spent a little time in the middle, uh, having hit a couple of good shots from the middle of the bat, footwork going well, you tend to, you know, your nerves tend to calm down a little bit more. And then um, when I walked in, obviously, um, you know, um, Shikhar was batting well and we, we lost. Shikhar early, we lost a couple of wickets when I walked in as well and then Hardik got out. So, um, I knew when Krunal walked in that, you know, uh, me having played a little bit more cricket than Krunal, we'll have to, I realised that we'll have to stitch a partnership together, which was very important for the team. So, in a way, when you when you stop thinking about your own personal game and when, when there's um, the team's responsibility ahead of you, you, you start thinking a little bit more clearer and, and like I said, having spent 20-25 balls in the middle, I started to feel a little bit more confident and um, yeah, really happy that, uh, you know, I could get that partnership with Krunal and we, we managed to get the team past 300. Hi, hi KL, uh, you Hello. have always come back strongly whenever you have seen a minor blip in form, so were you confident of turning the tables in the ODI series and would you say that the 50 over format is an easier format to find form as compared to the T20? Yes, I was confident. I've always, you know, uh, for a player to to come this far, it's it's only his self belief that that gets him so far. So I've always been um, confident in who I am as a player, who I am as a person. So um, it was never an issue of confidence. It was never an issue of self belief. Like I said, you sometimes it's 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 sport. You you try everything you can. You do everything that is possible and in your control, and it still doesn't go your way so you accept it and you you try and try and learn from from the mistakes you've done or try and learn from the hard days and and, and um, get back stronger so yeah I was I was always uh, confident I mean if I knew that in the nets and in, at training and at practice sessions I was batting well if there was a real issue with my batting then I would have uh, probably been a little underconfident but yes scoring runs is important and it is everything for a player but um, for me, I also um, look at myself um, at training and if I'm preparing well, if I'm hitting the ball well, if my mind is in the right place. So most of the, most of the things were right. The only thing that wasn't uh, working or going well for me was was uh, the numbers chart. Um, uh, me getting runs, which is disappointing at the top of the order. Uh, you're like when I open the batting, um, the team looks up to the openers to give them a solid start and get runs. So. Uh, was a little disappointing, but it never never affected my confidence or belief in myself. Okay, uh, there's been talk about uh, since the first coach in the T20s and even in the four years how to uh, start scoring from the middle order, uh, in the middle overs as well. As a batting group, how do you? Oh, what are you guys are going about it? Are you practicing anything specific in terms of uh, short selection and stuff, and how to play freedom, more freedom? Um. Look, freedom also, I mean, comes with with playing a lot more, a um, lot more games, a lot more um, winning, a lot more games together, and 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 matches like these, um, where you know we um, we were two hundred for five, and just the last ten overs, nobody thought we could from that position get to three hundred, three fifteen, and then those extra forty, fifty runs that uh, Kunal and me got in the end ended up being very crucial and ended up uh, um, making making the difference. So, you know, when, when we play more games like that, you as players, we as a team realize that there's, you know, that we we have the potential to, to do that even if our top order doesn't fire. So, I think the more, um, the talk obviously is about, um, you know, getting, uh, playing with a lot more freedom, getting more runs. And when you say play with a lot more freedom, you, you end up scoring 350, 360 runs in a 50 over game that, and then people, people will say yes. The team is playing with a lot of freedom, and for us, it's about how how we uh, figure um, in every situation how we can we can get the team past uh, 300 or 350 runs, whatever is good on that particular wicket on that particular day. And the more more regularly we we do that, the more confidence we'll get as a batting group, and 
more confidence we will have as a as a team yeah. this is parat from ripers uh, how do you look at uh, prasit krishna's performance in terms of what are his key strengths you have played with him uh, for so long with that karnataka you might have played against him at nets so how do you look at prasit krishna's performance key strengths look quite honestly i'm not i'm not surprised with what he uh, did yesterday i was always um, very confident that the next player that's going to come out of karnataka is going to be prasid um, i watched we i mean we we weren't of the same batch but I, i i watched him play a lot of junior cricket and i you know watching him in the nets he was somebody you know who would uh, who'd catch your eye um, tall guy uh, bowls quick gets a lot of bounce from the wicket and uh, something having played with him in the last couple of seasons seasons in uh, for for mustaq ali and and vijay hazare i realized that he's he's a brave brave boy um he has a great sense of sense of the game it's not just his skill but how he understands the game and how he reads the game he's um he's a very keen learner he's uh, like i said uh very brave and comes in with a lot of aggression even if you saw the last game he was in shy to have a word or two with with um with the batsman and he he enjoys being in a contest and that's that's something that i i, I loved about him and uh, i'm so happy to see that he's carrying on the same thing and he wasn't um overwhelmed by um the the place he is in playing his first game uh, for the country i'm sure you know there will be a lot of nerves but um you know the way he came back after after the first three overs got those cru- crucial wickets so these are these are the qualities that um um define a player and um, um as a team i think uh, a lot of us are uh, very very impressed with uh, what he's done and hopefully he can carry on keep getting better at at his skill and keep understanding the game better and if he works harder he'll he'll be a great asset for uh, indian cricket you spoke about not getting a game for like 3 months considering the, that you all don't have much to do off the field during these 3 months uh, despite the team doing so well how 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 difficult was it to cope with the fact that there was no game time how did you handle all that situation and uh, molin uh, if any official fitness update on rohit and shreya yes yeah, so i just start we did mention that shreya so here will not be available for the second and third one day awesome sorry thanks i missed it just here um look i mean as as a batsman or for me personally i i always um feel that being um being in the middle playing games is what um keeps me in the best touch um so having not got as much game time as i would have liked uh um i mean i won't say it did play on my mind but i i knew that uh you know somehow or the other i'll have to find a way to get myself best prepared with whatever um uh, opportunities i get at training or we we did a lot of open net sessions um yeah so in terms of that i i try to prepare in uh, in the best way possible so um but again having said that nothing nothing beats uh, game time i have uh, a more than that here uh, do you think that uh, you spoke about the question i'm giving back so what do you think made all these candidates Mix well on the second game, or they keep just coming up. Like, I think it was there. Kunal was there. Then there was the device close yeah. to this thing. Amul, if you can send the question on chat, we are not able to hear you clearly. It's too muffled. Oh, that's right. Till yeah, till then, Kuram, Kuram. Understand. Go ahead with the next question. Thanks. No, Amul. Yeah, hi. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, hi. Uh, when you are struggling for runs, or when you are slightly out of form does it help to come uh, you know from lower down or the, at in the middle or the time to face the new ball does it take some pressure off you um i'm not sh- i'm not sure what helps i think uh, the only thing that i know is the more time you spend in the middle the the more calmer or the more confident you start feeling um and for 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 a lot of players i mean if i mean i'm an opener so um you know even if i batted top of the order if i spent the, the most important thing is spending spending time in the middle getting a few boundaries off the bat um and yeah that that sort of uh, calms you down and then you start focusing on on the task ahead so uh, yeah that's that would be my answer thank you 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 thank you
be the only thing that I know I don't know batting um, top of the order or lower order if it if it you know makes much of a difference um, but yeah have, the only only important thing is to spend time in the middle wherever you bat well uh, australia mein aap wrist injury ke wo karan khel nahi paaye uske baad itne dino ke baad aapko khelne ko mila fir runs nahi hue ye sab pehlna kitna mushkil ho jata hai aapka shant swabhav hai isliye ye pehlna aasan ho gaya hai ya shant swabhav nahi hai jo aap dikhate ho ya inculcate kiya hai ye calmness kya hai ye sir um uh i main pehle se aise hi hu i have always try to um stay balanced um i have always told myself that you know i i love this game this game has given everything um um everything for me whoever i am today is because of the game but it's also important ki aap realize kare ki game ko game ke tarah treat karna is also very very important and that is one thing i believe um gives you i mean i don't know if it gives you more success but it does keep you a lot more calmer it keeps you in a good frame of mind and only if you're in a good frame of mind you can you can uh you can be more consistent or aap team ke liye uh acche performances de sakte ho so uh this is something maine as um you know um growing up years mein i i kept talking to myself or or the more i've seen the game with more experience ye cheez maine maine seekha hai and uh, jo bhi hamare seniors the indian team mein all the legends all the greats of the game is uh, whenever you talk to them uh, they always always tell you this to to remain balanced in 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 whatever in your in your good days in your bad days and always um, try and try and have that uh, hunger and i'm not i'm not a person who will show it mai bahut zyada expressive nahi hu um but that doesn't mean kabhi kabhi log sochte bhi hai ki just because i'm quiet and don't have too many expressions that uh, maybe he's not that passionate or maybe he's not that aggressive for the game but um everybody is different everybody's personality is different everybody has a different way of expressing themselves everybody has a different way of of how they play the game how they treat the game so um this is this is who i am this is how i've always been and this is who i'll uh continue to be this is my personality so um um the more i uh stay true to myself jitna main apne aap pe vishwas rakhunga aur jitna zyada main jaise tha uh uh jab runs bana raha hu jab run nahi bana raha hu jab bhi waise hi rahunga if there's not too much of a shift then i feel like that that gives me the best chance to do well for my team wherever i play so यही चीज मैं कोशिश करता रहूंगा कि जितना ज्यादा हो उतना ज्यादा मैं बैलेंस रहूं एज अ पर्सन अमोल गोगले सेज दैट द स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग वेरी वेल व्हाट डू यू थिंक मेक्स देम क्लिक स्ट्रेट अवे इज इट आईपीएल और नोइंग दैट इट माइट बी देयर ओनली अपॉर्चुनिटी अम आई थिंक अ ह्यूज अम ह्यूज पार्ट इज 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 द आईपीएल एंड एंड द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट दीस बॉयज कम इन विद अम एंड हुएवर इज कमिंग इनटू द टीम इट्स नॉट बी not because they performed in one season of the IPL or one season of first class cricket it's been about 2 3 years of um, consistent performances in whatever uh, at whatever level they play or wherever they play obviously um um you know you would have heard surya and ishan and uh, krunal in their interviews uh, saying that you know uh, they they played against most of most of these guys in the IPL at some point and um, um uh, they know how they go about their games and you know ipl performances have obviously given them a uh, a uh, a lot of confidence and they've carried that confidence into uh playing for their country and uh, it's something also um the team uh, the management and the environment here in the indian team w- what we try to do is is to give um the confidence to the youngsters coming in and i, I feel weird calling them youngsters because we we've seen them for so many years we've seen them performing and uh, uh yeah when they come in we you know we want all of all all the players to continue to do what they've been doing at whatever levels they play they it shouldn't change how they play as soon as they wear an india cap um uh, it's important that they stick to what they've been doing so well for so many years and that is what has brought them uh, uh, so far so it's important for them to keep believing that uh keep believing in in that process and uh, 
try to do their best here and try and try and enjoy the opportunity sports se judi kisi bhi update ke liye sports tak ko subscribe kare aur hamare facebook aur instagram page ko bhi zarur follow kare